Hello and welcome. It is the uh, 17th day of June 2019, barely. 11.21 p.m. Eastern Time, barely because there's 39 minutes left as of the recording. As if the date really means too much within this video. I want to talk about profit taking and uh, silver shopping. And that if I were to buy silver now, and it's, that could happen tomorrow or the next day, of course. That would mean a major rally in Litecoin or something of the like some things that I'm going to be looking to getting and profit taking and really allocating investments from uh, one to another definitely one of my favorite ones is from cryptos into uh, precious metals but you've probably heard before people talk about oh imagine all those people who got back in way back when four dollar bitcoin to see how much they're worth today well I look at it in two other different ways. How many of those people actually still have that Bitcoin they bought back then or they had back then? For when it was $4, it was up to 22 Did it seem high? Did they sell it? How about at 56 and then again at 150 and well, heck, this got up to over 1000 And then were they scared on the way down and selling back when it was 280 or 300 that's one of the measures I look at it because oftentimes you could think, oh my goodness, put a thousand dollars into Bitcoin back then at four bucks, and you're going to get yourself about uh, 250 of them. And that's a lot, or somewhere around there, a few hundred anyway. And a few hundred today, well, at ten thousand, if you had a hundred, that's well, hundreds a million. And imagine having 50000 worth back then. And then even going back before this with data not shown, when it was a dollar. Or how about that person who, sold, who actually sold two pizzas for a, a lot of bitcoins when the price was like 75 cents or $3? Were they like, oh wow, look how high bitcoin was. That's one way I look at it. Another way is profit-taking and never leaving the game. Okay, let's assume that, and we'll even throw away the fact that you could trade other markets and make it a really good, although I kind of shouldn't actually, because that's the whole point of the game is it performing the market, overperforming markets, but even in the early stages in here. So it was five bucks. Next thing you know, you're up to here and it's 53 or 10 times higher. At the time, uncharted t new territories. And if you uh, had a thousand Bitcoin and you invested five thousand into it, well, now you would have like fifty grand. Well, maybe if you liquidate ten of the fifty, you still have forty. Same thing as you keep going to each new levels in here. And in something like that, you notice, okay, well here, I might have had 100 Bitcoin. And here, I might have 20. And 100, when they were worth $5, was, well, we'll say $500 you put in. And if you had 20, when they were worth 1,000, well, that would be 20,000. And obviously... Having uh, the, the, the 80 less would have meant at areas you would have had profits, which obviously not calculated within those equations. And of course, if you're able to overperform the market, you could be in a situation where, well, let's assume that you have, uh, well, you had uh, 100 Bitcoin here. And as you got to these peak areas, you could have been at areas where maybe you had 200 Bitcoin or 250, at least in value, when you add all your alts together. And then at that point, okay, well, I'm at like, say, say you happen to get up to 250, at the, you happen to be at the 250 at near this top area. It's, uh, we'll say, 461, and you think, and it looks like it's up too much based on where it was. 
And you're, you're like, wow, I mean, this is fantastic. You have more Bitcoin than you started with, and the price is fantastically higher. Hopefully, along the way, you've had profit-taking sessions up on those levels here. Whether you sold there and bought back in Bitcoin, well, that's part of the strategy that one can choose to implement. I'm not a big fan of that one, but uh, definitely a playable one. And I will, from time to time, use that strategy if I see it's a good one. So you say you go up to like 250, so you sell maybe 50 of 250, so now you got 200. And maybe it might work out on the down move that other alts, and back then it did work out that way that other alts were getting their asses kicked. So you could have been swing trading back and forth. I could have been playing two markets, code ABC and code DEF. One might be down 80%, the other's down say 85%, and I got three times as many coins. Well, I'm getting my ass, I'm still losing. Maybe not as quite as bad. But then along the way, you get back here, hopefully within the moves, maybe you can get this up to, say, uh, back to, let's say, 300 Bitcoin. If you could go from 200 here to worth 300 here and have a little bit of, uh, especially if you're using this as an income and you're taking small amounts off the table every so often just because it's something you have to do, that, that would be a fantastic result. Then you move up into this paradigm which meant profit take here, profit take here, profit take here. And I guess at this stage, you could well, you'd be uh, not w wanting to do it. And if you were the case doing so in here, maybe you want to wait again until it even breaks those highs again. And you're not in and, and something you don't want to do now because maybe just like before, if you're profit taking all the way up to the uh, highs in here, and then you got all of this coming back down, well, now you're just trying to accumulate Bitcoin through your trades, maybe, and really uh, not buying any gold and silver much, and you're definitely not using Bitcoin for a big vacation and all those kinds of things. But as you, with a lot of these markets, they were moving pretty good. I did a lot of examples in the past of playing coins. Now, there's a lot of shit coins back then that were led to nothing. And I, it's interesting to note, if you would have taken, say, 30 or 40 different coins or whatever the list was back in here, and you would have just plug a bunch and just swing traded them back and forth. Yeah, I've shown combinations like DGB, GR, GRS, LTC, Mona coin. You put those together, they kick ass. But then you put some of the other ones that died in 2016 or died in 2017 then that would have been a losing cause. But overall, in that situation, it should have worked out very well because for what you would lose would be so much small compared to the gains that come into play. And if you entered into the crypto space in here or anywhere in these lower areas, even in the 6,000, or if you were selling in here and you're buying back at these lower dips, well, we're kind of starting to enter the uh, levels of retracement at the small levels, but at the same time, we're in the comparable levels of about here. In that retracement from here high, here to here, we're also at the levels of like wherever in here is a comparison, meaning comfortably below this comfortably above high or the low so we're comfortably above this low comfortably above this high so generally speaking that to me would mean for profit taking levels they only start now they pick up I mean they're so microscopic at like 10,000 12,000 uh, they barely start to pick up at 20 and you start to notice it pretty good at 50, that's where you might go a little more aggressive. And then, you, to me, setting aggressive targets, and to me, six figures is where that comes into play. For setting aggressive, so before what you had was a high of a thousand. So, using that same ideology or mathiology, just the numbers world on it, numbers world, that doesn't make sense either way. Like 700 is a comparable as like now, especially you got back in, you bought at 300, you bought at 400. Then it got back up to 1100, 1200. Okay, starting to barely get noticeable as far as the uh, 
how the, the uh, majorness or the uh, how aggressive you look to profit take. And then after the break of 1200, you start to notice, okay, roughly on 25, 3000, it gets pretty good. And you'd have to think 8 to 12,000 would be really, really big. And well, then, of course, getting to 20 at that time. So a 5x move on 20,000 would work out to be that of uh, well, 100,000. 5x on 20,000 is 100,000. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to talk about purchasing silver. I know it can be done in the States through uh, different uh, sites. I know there was one, but they, don't, they didn't serve to Canada. I can't remember what they were called. But in Canada, silvergoldbull.ca. And they're not, they're not advertised or anything like this. This is just me seeing something interesting that I haven't seen. With a couple other cool coins on there. So I thought maybe an interesting time to show the site. And what I see on their main page is pretty... I don't got any of this. And that's the silver grain here. They got one ounce, two ounce, three ounce, and four ounce jars. So I'd be very, very... I'm very, very interested in this. So something that I would like to add to the collection. And if you look at deals, we got... Uh, So have to click on it but this one here okay why did it click off on that but anyway this deal here buck 25 off here it's a nice coin and the price isn't too too bad in canada silver is 20 uh, dollars per ounce uh, 19 dollars 89 cents as i'm recording it so i'll be spent a 0.75 and 1.33 conversion rate so 75% of this price is the U.S. price. Dollar twenty-five off means that the price is, uh, well, it says here you got bill, payment, check, and BTC, and then PayPal, credit card. That's more expensive. So I'm looking at BTC or maybe, and you know what, maybe Litecoin goes up to like 600 or even 300 for that matter. I would make a little buy maybe dgb has a good run up or theta has a good great day and it doubles or triples in a day i can uh well yeah even then yeah i could uh make a small buy but when you notice here first of all look at the price differential if you buy more or less so for me when i usually buy stuff like this i usually buy them in a roll as you can see there's already a 32 percent differential in price per unit and at 25 and minus dollar, that would be 23.75. So I'm, I would be paying like a plus 3.75 for it. You know, when I look at like premium coins, this is like the I play the hairball a bit over game, and that's to me exactly what 23.75 would be. So let's just take a look at some more silver because there's a few other ones that I liked as well too. Because every so often I'll just go on and I'll click on new, and I haven't checked since. Well, the last time I bought, which would have been a few weeks ago. But let's see what we got here. We got uh, we'll sort it by newest. You can sort it by multiple ways. Uh, so we can sort it by, they got most popular, the new, the price, price per ounce. So if you're looking for value, that's where you go. You can go by weight. And I've never seen the let me know. But maybe they're asking you, like, hey, how else can we sort it by? But let's just go by new because there's a few things in here I like. Overexpensive items of something I really loved. Another overexpensive item that I'm probably going to buy. But that's just because it's part of my collection. And, uh, yeah, now as far as the internet, what's usually it's been pretty good for the last like three months or so. I've had problems with it earlier in the winter and early spring. Maybe it's their end. But that never usually takes this long to load. Then, of course, I paused the tape, waited about uh, oh, well, another seven, eight more seconds more, and then I refreshed and then loaded up fast. I don't understand it. Anyway, let's see where we got. Did they sort of 
Okay, so here we go. We got the five Vince Royal Canadian Mint. And it's there's the problem here, whatever, I guess, is you got the any. Any, any, any. So we don't got like 10 plus cheaper price, unfortunately. But I suppose if you wanted a discount, you got 5 ounces for 111. You got 15 for 323. So if we multiply 111 by 3, that's like over 333. It's like 334, 335. So you're getting a little bit of a discount doing it this way. So this is how, I guess that's how you get your discount. So that kind of makes sense. And then we have it in different sizes here. And African wildlife coins. I don't like how these ones are packaged, actually. I like the coin. I hate their packaging. Uh, this is an okay coin. And then another two ounce in here. Now this one, I love. I love this coin. I'm probably going to buy it. The picture is sweet. A uh, nice little, like, alligator crocodile. Like, this crocodile type of look. Uh, so there we can... Okay, that is, like, my full screen. So that's going to be, like, you get partial amount of this, the coin when I do that. Uh, so I'd probably just, like, 50 bucks. You know, I'd probably buy the case that would go with it, too, if it didn't come with one. But it works out to $24 an ounce. Again, I'm getting something I like. I like, I mean, if it looks cool like that, it comes from, this, I assume it's the Australian Mint. Perth Mint right here. So you get the details in there. Get the purity and all that type of stuff. So this is something that, again, I probably would like to want to add to uh, my portfolio, which is the physical holding, obviously, when we're showing the actual coins itself. So let's continue on with a few other ones that I was looking at. Here we have... Uh, uh, da, da, da. Yeah, so this one here, the 5 ounce, nothing really exciting me there this one here one kilo 2010 Banff National Park 125th silver coin one thousand two hundred and eighty eight dollars wow that's like so expensive that's like well twelve eighty eight divided by thirty two point two I think it is I think it's thirty two point two per kg that's how many ounces would be in it so we're looking at about uh, 37 $38 an ounce, maybe. Expensive. This is a nice coin here, and I might end up getting it, but the problem is it's a half-ounce coin for 1937, and what I like better would probably be that I most likely would splurge on this just to add it to my collection. I have a, quite a few uh, Year of the Dog coins. Uh... I'm, I want, I'm in need of one ounce, of actually. I don't have any of the one ounce. I got half ounce. I got two ounce. I got five ounce. I got ten ounce. I got one kg. I'm looking for the uh, ten kg coin and uh, a roll of one ounces. That's what I want to add to my collection. But I don't have this one, though. So that's what I would like to uh, add. And uh, this one's really cool because that's basically... I mean, not anymore because the puppy at this location is now bigger. But just having it at the same time that this happened, having a German Shepherd and uh, pups come in uh, is a very big symbolic thing, which is pretty cool. I'm a huge dog fan. I love dogs a lot. So I've got a whole bunch of other Year of the Dog coins as well. Not really a bunch. I mean, I got a lot of those. I got, But I don't have a single one ounce coin. I got like uh, uh, two half ounces. Five, two ounces, one, one five, one ten, uh, two kilos, and uh, one half gold. So uh, I, I want to build as much more up to that. I actually want to get a complete collection of one kg coins from uh, the Perth Mint, and I'm I really am not even close to. Be, but cryptocurrencies really haven't even started yet. So 
that's what makes that fun as well. Uh, one ounce American Noah's Ark, man, not really, but when you look at the price of it, 24 bucks, not bad. This is a ripoff, one quarter, one quarter ounce, 25 for 25 coin for 35 bucks. I, I would give you maybe 26 for it. That's the most I would buy it for. Maybe 27. I don't even know about that. Uh, what the heck is this? Random year. It's only 2270. So it's not too bad. Random year. You one U.S. commemorative silver dollar. Oh, silver dollar. Well, that's a different story. Silver dollar is not one ounce of silver, probably. Okay, that's that's a nice little thing. I'm not. I'm probably not going to be interested in that. Anything else? Because there was one coin. There was a. This is pretty cool, but 29 bucks though. One ounce Canadian maple leaf double in cuse. So I don't even know what a double in cuse is actually. One ounce per. Th Here's the problem with this moon landing coin. There's two problems with it. The first problem with it's $29 an ounce. The second problem is I don't think we've ever, as far as, I don't think we've ever been on the moon. Not then, anyway. That's my belief. That's, uh, to me, I think it's something, we, I believe that if we can actually discover and be able to do something, then thereafter that we're going to do it much more better, more times after that. The fact that we actually were supposedly quote-unquote there, I guess I shouldn't say quote-unquote, but uh, what we should be having, we should be doing it 10, 20 times more efficiently than we did back then. Yeah, I, I, I just can't believe it. But that's me though. Uh, what was the other coin? There was a two ounce coin that I wanted. Maybe I showed that one two ounce coin. Let me just go to the per ounce section here because that's another key one as well. So price per ounce. So if you're looking for quantity discounts, What's going to come up on the top are going to be the 100 ounce bars. Don't think the kilos, but maybe, but probably the 100 ounce bars. Well, actually, no, the first would be the the uh, one, the 10 ounce bar that you can get from Spot. You only get one. I got mine like two years ago. I don't know if I can get them again. I don't know if it's like I don't know what the rules and details are on that. Let's do the refresh again because it's not loading. Still, this is slow. It's not usually like this. I don't know if it's because I got my window on a partial screen because I either have to put this in full screen mode or I position my browser to fit its full screen. If I just pull this, I'm going to put this in full screen, it'll look different. I'm just curious if it loads faster or not. Okay, now it looks like it's loaded. Seems to load everything at one shot, I guess. Yeah, so the first one is the 10-ounce uh, silver gold bar at spot price. Then you got the 100-ounce pure assorted bar. So this is the cheapest you're paying over spot. The silver uh, $1,991 for 100 ounces right now. That works out to, uh, well, 147 on top. Looking at about 78%. That's the cheapest you're getting it there, at least. Another hundred ounce, another hundred ounce. Uh, just then you got the uh, going more fancier on the generics with the sun, the silver town and sunshine mint. Uh, five hundred ounce. There's a five hundred ounces of wow. That's incredible. Five hundred ounces. How much does that go for? That's a ten thousand seven hundred and twenty-seven Canadian dollars. Interesting. 
You would need a little over one Bitcoin right now. No, 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 a little under one Bitcoin to buy that. Bitcoin's much more than 10,000 Canadian right now. New 100 ounce Britannica silver bar. So all the hundreds are coming in. Now we got these. See, this is why I want to buy these. They're, in the, they're rated high on the cheap price list. And I like them. I mean, they're... You got to be careful with... I mean, if you open them anyway. You got to be careful with them. I mean, you don't want them rolling around on the floor and then just losing them. And But, I mean, I would probably realistically open one and keep the rest of them sealed and then be careful with the one that I opened. Five ounce pure bar. This is like just whatever they give you, five ounce. Ten ounce pure assorted pick. You might get sunshine mint. You might get whatever. But at this case here, 221 bucks or 222 for one of them. You get 20 of them, which is kind of, I don't know, I would rather fight other ways of buying 200 ounces, but maybe if they're ones you, if you want 10 ounce bars. In fact, some one thing that I thought about doing, again, this is like one of my wild, sick obsession ideas, because I used to love Legos as a kid. And, I mean, I wasn't the greatest at building stuff, but I tried. I mean, I'm terrible with art. And I probably wouldn't be the greatest at this. But if I were to get a whole bunch of 10 ounce, 5 ounce, 1 ounce, whatever different weird sizes I can get, what kind of stuff could I build with like, I don't know, give me give me like a few hundred 1 ounce bars, a bunch of 10s, a bunch of 5s, and a bunch of these other weird shapes I could... That's one reason why I think about buying them like this too. There's a kilo bar. I got one kilo bar. And it's, it's nice. It's nice. It's, uh, this one here, a pure assorted, so you can get whichever one they want to give you, a 50 ounce or, uh, let's see, what else do we got for the, now we got one ounce of pure assorted, so 22.58 is what you're paying there, and again, I'm going to be looking to get 20 of them and save 26 cents per ounce, usually. Sometimes I'll splurge, like I showed at the start, I'll buy this two ounce coin here and that two ounce count coin there. This one here I'm a big favorite of at times too, just getting 20 or more of these assorted ounces as it's uh, 22.45. So you're paying just barely over 10% more of a premium on that. And and then coins like this, this these to me are no brainer and I got a few of these. I think I got two or three of those. $23 and if you get, I mean I just bought like a couple. I but there's it looks so cool the and it's only 15 percent over spot I mean, i'm just a sucker for, i'm literally a sucker for those anything that looks nice that's cheap like that and of course this mint is uh i, I i'm I, i'm confident that i'm getting the real deal of course when i'm buying stuff like that but i'm only buying a couple of them um i'm not a big fan of the buffalo silver rounds but you know what silver is silver and it's just, if I'm going to be paying this kind of amount for silver, I'd just rather buy the assorted stuff instead. So, uh, unless they give me a good sale price tag on it, they would be. And here's a sale right here. 10 ounce, $4 off a bar, so that's 40 cents off. So, we're looking at uh, 226 So, you know what, if you're interested in, again, it's, it's a small discount. But, uh, it also, if you think of it, uh, if you buy 10 of them, um, then you end up getting the equipment. You could end up buying like a couple more coins for free, essentially, like two of the like almost two of those. And I mean, I got a bunch of sunshine mints. They're cool coins, though. Uh, let's see anything else? I mean, this will be the last for the video. It's almost. I mean, all the stuff I've already seen. I'm a, again, I'm trying to get the complete set. I don't have these two. I don't... What, no, what's this? 2019, no, 2019. I don't got the 2019. Obviously not. Uh, here we are. Two ounce pure assorted silver. $47.85. Mm. It's almost like... Uh, 
Oh man, I almost want to do that. It's almost like that little grab bag. You don't know what you're gonna get. Cause quite frankly, when I talk about that one ounce pure assorted silver, you're gonna, I mean, you're gonna get sunshine mint. You're gonna get I mean, those buffalo rounds and stuff like that. But you know what? Those, I mean, they're all good for that price. But for twenty under twenty four dollars an, an ounce, which is twenty percent over spot, or ten percent rather. I'm almost curious just to see what you would give me. I'd almost want to buy like five. And if I could write a note to them in doing it. I don't know if I, I could probably call them up after the order. And say, if you can do the best you can to surprise me with like whatever different variety. If I bought like five, that'd be pretty cool. Or if I bought ten, that fact. Yeah, again, this one I'm buying. This one I'm buying for sure. This one I'm going to buy. I've gotten, I, I have this coin. It's, it's a nice coin. It's part of my very small collection of this. Uh, I have this, I have this one. It's a nice coin. Uh, one and a half ounce random. The reason why I got it is because when I was searching for it, it was one of the cheapest ones. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's going to be added to the collection. When you go stuff like this, one and a half ounce random year, you're going to get like small milk spots and different things. But you know what? When I did it the last time, I it really wasn't that bad at all. It, was, it, was, it worked out to be a good deal. But you're getting what was premium style coins. You don't know what you're going to get. But I have done this once and, and I was satisfied with what I got. And I think I got a roll of them when I did it. Uh... Interesting that this is on the cheap side here. I haven't bought 90%, 80% or sterling silver. I haven't bought anything that's not 999 silver since 2000 and... Um, <laughs> wow, it's been over half a decade. In fact, I have uh, I have at least 10, 12, 15 less ounces of scrap silver from that time because I've sold a few and I haven't bought any. Anyway, this is just my idea, how I look at the silver market, how I am as a silver buyer. Um, for me, Canada, within these guys, this is, of course, where I'm from, and these people are located out of Canada. It's like two days, of two to three days from the time I make my order, usually to the time it gets here. So that's rare and vintage silver. Okay, now you got me speaking because I'm... I am a collector as far as what I can get in... Do I need to full screen this just to load faster? Or is it just the fact that they load everything so fast? It's yeah, because it's not loading. I'll just pause it till it's done. It only took another like 8 seconds or so. I was looking at this earlier... Actually, I was looking at this earlier as in the video, I think. But it's silver dollar. One k. This one I like. Forty-four dollars. Really? I mean, I understand it's nineteen seventy-three, and I got a cup. I only got like, mm, probably four or five coins. That I think I got these four or five from the seventies, and I got a good dozen or so from the eighties. But I, that, I mean, anything I can get. I know this man seventy forty four dollars. That's too much. And then you got forty four dollars of a uh, a newer one, a half ounce coin for thirty two dollars. No thank you. Um, you know this this bar doesn't really. It doesn't excite me too much. It's not. I know it's a little older and everything. I I know it's. But unless I can get it cheap and four hundred dollars for, ten ounces, forty dollars an ounce. I would, I would pay probably. I would just me thinking. I would think. I don't know if I'd want to spend more than two eighty, two ninety on it. I mean, I'd easily spend two seventy. I mean, that'd be a no brainer. But four hundred, not even close. A one kilo Johnson Matthew bar, but twelve eighty eight. I'd have a hard time spending, even for considering that. I mean, I don't think I could, considering I mean, I, I want to fill my, fill my kilo Australian milk mint condition. But 
I uh, just twelve eighty eight. It's no too much. What the heck is this? That's hydro so bad. I I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. But anyways, this is it. Not much too more exciting there. And again, I'm not promoting this site as far as any paid advertisement. Rather, my reflections or my ratings. If I were to rate them out of five right now, I would probably go. Uh, I can never give a five unless it's they. Unless it, oh my, not, unless they go well, well out, but like four point eight, four point nine, which is as high as it gets for the most part. Because for me, every single time I have ordered it has always been two, three days, 100% of the time. I've gotten exactly what they have given me. And I've ordered every single time, so there's never been any problems that way. When there's, They've actually called me before when there were uh, different shipping issues that they had to clarify, which is pretty cool. Every time I've had to use the chat system with them, they have worked it out very, very well. And there's always a little small piece of chocolate that goes in there. Um, they box their products not amazingly. So, yeah, like the 4.8 out of 5. A, yeah, A+. Plus, but I could, like, the reason why I'm doing that is because, I mean, obviously if they threw a pen in, I'd give them a 4.81 or a 4.82 out of 5. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.